also this actually pretty beautiful frame. I kind of like the way it looks already, but <laughs> I bought it to pimp it, to alter it. So what I will do, I will just take this sheet out. There's no like glass in here. It's just like a clear acetate sheet which I'm gonna alter later as well but for now we will just need that frame and I will just start with this frame first thing I will just give it an even coat of white gesso there you go so I will just use a flat brush and the white gesso and I'm just gonna cover the whole frame to kind of prime this surface for the things to come. So next thing for this frame, this layer of gesso has dried. And what I will do next is I will juice use, not juice, <laughs> use different uh, things that kind of give me a little bit of texture, okay? Like for example, I have some brunch board here, um, I might attach one of those um, silver stars here. So you could again like use everything that kind of gives you a little bit of texture, okay? And I will use the gel medium to kind of all collage it onto this um, frame. I really want everything to be like nice and safe in place before I continue. So all of this has dried, the fabric has hardened, it all is nice and secure in place. So next round of color, I want to cover it all up with some white acrylic paint. transparent sheet which goes into the frame. I'm just gonna put it down here and I want to add a little bit of texture to it. So I'm gonna take this stencil and the champagne colored modeling paste, modeling cream and apply it with my palette knife over the clear sheet here. I don't want you know all of the text to be visible or readable. Just kind of want to have a little bit of the text on here for some fun like photo overlay effect later once the photo is added to the frame. So adding a second layer of white because a little bit of the chipboard color still shines through. I don't want that. So going over it a second time. Okay, and in the next step I want to add a little bit of 
gold texture paste with a crackle effect on top of the whole thing. Again, I want to keep it rather neutral, so not like super, super colorful. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the crackle texture paste and mix a little bit of water in. And then I'm going to just add like a glaze on here. So I don't want like a full color coverage. I just want a little bit of the golden shine. And then I might add a little thicker layer just in some areas. But basically I'm first going to apply like a golden glaze here. I'm using some Inca Gold, which is like a thick paste of metallic color and just one of those painted dabbers. And I don't want to overdo it with this, I just want to add a tiny bit of additional color, a contrasting color here. And in addition, I'm using some copper acrylic paint again to add a little more definition and contrast here. And again, I'm just using this paint dabber with a little bit of the acrylic paint, not too much, because again, I don't want like a large blob on here. Just kind of want it ever so lightly in some areas. And then I've got some <clears throat> words cut out here, just printed them out and cut them out. I'm also going to distress the edges with the copper acrylic paint. And next I have one of those feathers here which I really love. It's like, I already bought it like that with some glitter. I'm just gonna use some gel medium to adhere the feather here along the side. I know I'll kind of cover up a little bit of the things I put down before. Maybe I should add up here. Let's just take a look. I think I'll put it up here. So, <laughs> there you go, making up my mind as I go. Just using some golden gel medium here to hold the feather in place. Making sure I add a good amount because of like the texture on here so that it will really stick and stay where I want it to stay. And I'm also going to add the word strips. And I think I just want this E and A, which are like the initials for friends of mine uh, who will receive this frame. Um, the initials to kind of stand out a little. I uh, don't want to add like too much color because I really like this overall um, simple color scheme here. Yet I want this to kind of stand out just a tiny bit. So I will use my Windsor and Newton watercolor markers here. Just applying a tiny bit of the color.
then I'm just using a brush to slightly spread that out so that this heart is kind of jumping out a little like this and the E and A as well I'm gonna use this blue here again just a tiny bit Just activating the color and spreading it out. to have a repetition of color in here. Um, I'm also going to use a tiny bit of this red and blue for the stars. Really just a little bit, so not too much. I don't want to color the stars in. <clears throat> just adding a tiny bit of like a shading here. To the stars. I'm so sorry for the <laughs> for the cat meowing in the background. He's probably sitting in front of a filled up foot bowl. Yet. Might only be like 80% filled and not 100% filled. And of course, that's reason enough to complain for a cat. <laughs> if you are a cat person, if you have cats, you probably know that scenario. some paint splatters of course <laughs> because if you know me you know I love paint splatters nothing is finished without paint splatters so <clears throat> let me just find a brush find a brush find a brush find a brush no brush let's um, so take this one I'm using a little bit of the um, turquoise modeling paste here, just applying it to my palette. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of water. Because I don't want the like thickness of the modeling paste. Actually, I just want the the color, the same color that I already used in the background here. Like this. And then I'm just gonna flick my brush. To add some random paint splatters. I don't mind if it 
goes on the feather or on the writing. It's supposed to look like totally random. So, of course, I do mind if it covers up the whole word. <laughs> so, I'm gonna lift that back up because I still want the, <laughs> the word to be like readable at least, right? like it gonna let this dry so last but not least I have this transparency sheet here that I stenciled on and a photograph of the person the people the persons the friends <laughs> who will receive this as a gift and I'll just put that in here Just like that. And we're done. Beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful gift frame with a personal touch. Um, yeah, and I hope she will like it and he will like it. <laughs> and I hope you like it and you enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you create a frame inspired by this tutorial, please feel free to share with me because I would love to see it. Um, yeah, other than that, wishing you a wonderful, happy day, happy week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye!